Good morning everyone. Let me just see who we've got coming on board. I've got a different camera angle for the live so I'm just going to bring you up on my page so I can see what's going on and see all your comments. How are we doing this Bank Holiday Monday? Are we all enjoying the beautiful sunshine that we've had here in the UK? I'm getting some thumbs up here, some people joining on. Anne's with us. Chris is with us. Great. I haven't got my contact lenses in, so I've got everything a bit close by today. Um, it wasn't actually a star in my eye. I had an eye infection, but I've got drops from the doctors. Didn't go and visit. Phone, phone call, um, consultation. I've got drops. So it's looking a lot better. So I feel like I can face you today. The other day I could not look at the camera. I'd have mortified you all with my uh, big, big bulging eye. Anyway, who's going to come and join me on Wednesday morning for a Facebook scrap along? So that's what I'm aiming to do. So we're doing it weekly at the moment while we're still on lockdown. So this time we are doing, I've got everything laid out down here to show you. We are going to be doing page sketch three. Now you're going to be seeing this back to front at the moment. <laughs> but it's page sketch three. I'll put a link on my Facebook page. Same as usual, if you go over to dawnsinspirations.com and go onto the scrapbooking section and find page sketch three, you can then download the PDF if you wish. I mean, I keep mine all in a folder as I've shown you before. So if you want to do that, you can. Or you can download them to your iPad, your phone, your computer. Keep them as a reference. It's quite nice. So I've got some more joining in now. Let's see who else is joining in. We've got Emma. We've got Margaret. We've got Julie. We've got Barbara. So we've got quite a few of you coming in now. We've got 17 in total. So great. Thank you, ladies, for joining me. And gentlemen, because I know there's a few gentlemen crafters out there as well. Michelle's joined in. So this is the actual page sketch we did in the class and the ladies had the kit for this what i'm wanting you to do when we join in with these facebook scrap alongs okay what i'm wanting you to do is to use what you've got in your crafty stash at home hi david are we conference calling today or are you um being able to join in all right he's making a lot he's going to do a large but great i'm glad you could join us david hi mandy Diane's tuned in as well. So this was page sketch three. Okay, we did this in a class and the ladies had the kit. But if you go to my website, you can download the PDF. Okay, but I want you to use what you've got at home. That's what these scrap alongs are all about. It's about you using your supplies at home so we can join in and have a bit of fun. So David says he's got his call out of the way earlier. Great. We've got Joyce joined in. Oh, we've got lots of you joining in now i'm losing track right i'm just going to keep talking otherwise i'll and i'll say hello to everybody later so what you're going to need is i'm going to put my camera down just a little bit okay i've not got it totally over the desk because i think it's quite nice to have a chat while we're going along is you're going to need a piece of card uh, pattern paper okay i happen to have some double sided but it doesn't matter if you haven't got double sided lots more of you joining in now fantastic you're all coming on board now if you look at the sketch i've actually only used one piece of cardstock for the layout but what i've done for you guys at home because when we had this kit we did three layouts that month what I'm going to get you to do is to get at least another piece of cardstock to match your paper. So go with one piece of your pattern paper and something that you can stamp on if possible. OK, so it's not coated. And then at least two pieces of coordinating coloured cardstock. OK, will be absolutely fantastic. Right. I don't think I've got a few more tuning in now. Hi, Maeve. How are you doing? It's been a long time since we've seen you. So, yes, I've got quite a few of you tuned in. Has anybody missed anything? Are we all all right? Yes. So that's the basics you're going to have to find in your crafty stash. And I'm sure a lot of you have got things like this available. 
you're going to need a photograph, a six by four photograph. It can be the portrait or landscape. The choice is entirely yours. On the original, I did a portrait. But what I want to show you with these sketches is these are a base for you to start off with. OK, so get one six before photograph, either portrait or landscape. I'm sure lots of you have got something like that at home already. Let's see what else is. Um... Oh, Heather, she says she didn't get the notification. Sorry, Heather, I did. I did only put it on Dawn's Inspirations page this morning. I'm sorry, but I don't think you've missed anything. So quick recap. Page sketch three. Pop over to dawnsinspirations.com. Press the scrapbooking link. OK, you'll see there's several different links there. Go on the scrapbooking link. You can go to page sketch three. Download this if you wish to or save it on your computer. OK, that's what we're going to be working against. You might think there's not a lot going on on this sketch. This is your basis to work on. And this is what we're going to work to. This is what we did in class. OK, but we're going to do a twist because you're using everything you've got at home. So one piece of pattern paper, two pieces of cardstock to coordinate, if possible, please. One six before photograph. Now, in my original, you'll see I've used a big clock die because it tied in with the theme at the time. Now, I am aware that a lot of you probably won't have a big clock die in your crafty stash. This is where I want you to use what you've got at home. OK, so actually this time I'm going to use a large butterfly die. OK, this is the new die set out. OK, from Crafter's Companion. OK, so this is the new die set out and it's got a lovely big butterfly that comes in three layers and this is what I'm actually going to use this time so I'm not going to use the clock I'm going to use a big butterfly so these often are used just for card making but this is where I want you to cross this over to your scrapbooking so hunt through your crafty stash see what big biggish dies you've got if you haven't got a really big die even a stamp that you could fussy cut out would work perfectly well as well OK, so that's what I'm going to be using to go with that. I've got myself some twine to match. I'm sure, again, a lot of you in your crafty stashes at home have got some twine of some description. OK, now I'm going to be also be using again my Stampin' Up! Tag Punch. I know a lot of you have already got this. If you haven't, grab yourself one. Absolutely useful. You've seen me already with these scrap, scrap alongs. We've used them a lot. OK, so I'm going to be using this. Now, another thing I'm going to be using is, and this was actually in the kit when I did the um, class, is here, if I show you here, this is foil. OK, and we, we did a technique with the foil that actually went down very well and again some people had some foil like this in their crafty stash that they did not know what to do with i actually gave the ladies a selection of six swatches of foil okay that we used but please don't panic now if some of you are going to turn around and say oh, i haven't got any foil do not panic OK, I've tried out some different things. So have any of you got anything like this, which was the um, the foil that was used with the foil transfers from Crafters Companion? If any of you got anything like that in your crafty stash at home, perfect. You're only going to need scraps of foil. OK, if you haven't got anything like that. These are some other ones that are available. So these are just foil for foil transfers. OK, so this is what I'm going to be using. So. Oh, Katie says all her big shot dies are stored at her mum and dad's. Oh, well, don't worry. I'm sure even you've got time till Wednesday. 
how about going on the computer and downloading some free images you could colour and, and just fussy cut out? You know, this is where, by me telling you these things now, you can gather up what you've got at home. This is what this is all about, this scrap along. I'm sure you've got stuff at home in your crafty stash. So, I'm going to be using some of this foil. And to use that, I'm actually using, there you go, really cheap. This is like what we call in the UK here, Prit stick. Okay, so it's just a glue stick that comes up. The children use it at school. Okay, now this one just came from a local supermarket that we have here in the UK. So if you're doing your weekly shop and you're able to go out of lockdown just to go and do a basic shop, you could pick one up. But I bet, again, it's something you've got at home. If you've got kids at home, check what they've got in their little craft stuff. Because it's just Pritt stick. If you haven't got any Pritt stick, you can use your tacky glue, which you've seen me use before as well. We can use that as well. OK, now don't panic, please, if you haven't got any foil. If you can't find any foil, please, please do not panic. What I want you to do, if you haven't got any foil, is to get some, say, acrylic paint which matches your paper collection or even just an ink pad that matches your paper collection. OK, so you can go quite in easily with an ink pad. And then what I'm going to get you to do, and I bet again this is something you've got at home, is a wide brush. OK, so that's about, I think that's about an inch. My, my tape measure, oh here we go, and my ruler is here. That's about three quarters of an inch. So three quarters of an inch or an inch paintbrush. So if you haven't got a foil, grab an ink pad and some acrylic paint. OK, and we'll do a bit of dry brushing instead of that. Now, the words on the layout we did, I've used some of these words now, the or these letters. Now, these letters, I'm going to see if I can find a sheet. Again, something you've probably got in your crafty stash. Have any of you got sheets like this with your scrapbooking papers with letters on? OK, that is what we actually used in class. Something like this with just the letters on and then we tore around it and fussy cut it around it. OK, but again, please don't panic. If you don't have anything like this, there are several different ways we can do this. This is what I want you to do. Go through your craft stash. Go through your craft room. See what you've got. You could use stamps. These are some stamps I picked up from Clarity years ago. They're absolutely brilliant. You get the um, the little squares on the top there to stamp your letters in. And you stamp your letters and then you can just fussy cut out. So this is it. Just go through your crafty stash to see what you've got. Another thing you could use are dies. OK, if you've got small dies and I know a lot of my ladies that come to class do. If you've got small dies like that, they're about an inch high. Perfect. And then what I've done is I've actually used some square punches. OK, again, something I've got in my crafty stash. If you haven't got square punches, you can cut squares out on your um, paper trimmer quite easily and then what I've done is I've actually just die cut out the letter and then mounted it on the next size up square so that's another way around you could do it okay so this scrap along is all about using the sketch but with the resources you've got at home okay so is there any questions about what I've told you to gather together for Wednesday morning the scrap along is going to be at half past ten again. OK, so we're going to go along with half past ten. I'm just having a quick look here if we've got any. Um, right. Katie says she hasn't got any foil, never known how to use it. Yes, Katie, you could fussy cut while you're watching the telly. So you can download something, get ahead of the game before Wednesday morning. And that's when I like to fussy cut in front of the telly. So, any more comments about what we've what you're going to need? I think we're all okay. 
There's well over 32 of you at the moment watching, which is absolutely fantastic. If you go onto my Dawn's Inspirations page to um, to um, photos and you go in there, you'll see different albums. And I've put the page sketch hashtag one and page sketch hashtag two into different albums. So you can actually see all the layouts everybody's done with their crafty stash at home. And it's lovely to see them all together. Right, Jenny's saying she missed the paper and card bit. No problem, Jenny. Let me just recap on that. So what you're going to need is one piece of pattern paper. Okay, one piece of pattern paper to go with your photograph. Or, or not, as you know what I'm like. I'm not too much a matchy-matchy. And at least two sheets of cardstock to match your pattern paper. So... There you go. Heather's even telling you as well, Jenny. OK, so one sheet of cardstock, two sheets of pattern paper. Um, yeah, Diane missed that one. So hopefully you've got that now. Yeah, one pattern, at least two, two plain. That's perfect, Diane. The other thing is we're going to do the Scrap Along Live at half past ten on Wednesday morning. Please, please do not panic if you're working as you're a key worker or if you've got kids at home and it doesn't fit in with timings with what's going on at home please do not worry what i do is once we've done the scrap along i then upload it to my youtube channel so if you go onto youtube and find dawn's inspirations and don't forget to press the subscribe button because you'll get a notification every time i put a, a video up there so if you've missed out on page sketch one and two, if you go to YouTube now, the videos are there so you can join in with those. And I've even put these taster supplies, what you're going to need, those videos up there as well. OK, so if you want to join in with those, the supply list is there for that and also the actual um, videos to make it. The scrap alongs last for about an hour. So if you have got hubby working from home and you're working from home, you want to shuffle the kids, just tell him you're going for your hour's lunch break and come in your craft room and join me and come and have a scrap along. So that's where everything will be. I love to see your finished layouts. As you will look on Dawn's Inspirations Facebook page, you will see all the beautiful layouts that have been coming through. I think last week I've got over 18 layouts from last week week scrap along so let's see if we can get more than 18 this week there's a lot more of you tuning in this week so let's get more layouts out there the way to put the layouts onto my facebook page that's another thing i just want to tell you if you go to my facebook page and you can go if you go down you'll see a row of things that says things like events you can either go to post and create a post and pop your layout on there and just tell me a little bit about it it will then disappear it hasn't disappeared i've just got to share it onto the main page so don't panic you can go along that same line you'll see community the same thing applies create a post and then i can share it onto the main page and then by seeing all your beautiful layouts i will then create an album again for hashtag number three so I think I've waffled on enough this morning. I think you know everything you're going to need to gather, all your supplies. That's something else I didn't tell you. Ladies and gentlemen, what, why did I forget? I sorted out my big box. Look, just again, because my craft room has got loads of stuff, I bet like yours. We were looking at the title. OK, different ways to do the title. All right, we looked at stamping. We looked at if you've got something like that. We looked at using stamps. We looked at using dies. But how many of you have got a box like I've got with all these stickers with letters on? I've got loads here, as you can see. Absolutely loads. So why not use these to create your title? Why not take the stickers off? You could still mat and layer them onto a square if you wanted to. But go on, hands up. Who's got a box like this with all these stickers, 
with all these letters and words all in here you know i've got loads and i bet you have at home yes i bet you have so that's another way you can do your title okay so the scrap along is about using what you've got in your crafty stash at home while we're on lockdown let's have fun let's create some beautiful layouts with what you've got at home okay so download the sketch gather your supplies i will see you wednesday morning at half past 10 i'm getting more people tuning in now hi nicole hi diane if you've missed this bit when i switch off it will still be there on my facebook to see and i will be sharing this over on my youtube channel so don't forget to subscribe to that as well because you'll get a notification every time a video goes up so i'm going to sign off now i'm going to let you lot run right in your craft rooms and gather your supplies together to join me on wednesday morning at half past 10. see you soon <laughs>